forensics won't be in for a few days, but based on initial reports, the PCPD is calling this an accident. Lana was Lisa's head nurse. It's not coincidence that she wound up dead the same day that Robin went missing. I'm not defending Lisa. Well, you haven't fired her yet, have you? We have had this conversation, Patrick. She is an excellent physician. I can't just recommend that she be removed without a valid reason. You want valid reason? She broke into my house. She cut Robin's face out of our wedding photo. She took my daughter without permission. Hey, listen to me. She jumped in front of Robin's car and made it look like Robin was trying to kill her. Now she's missing. Okay, it's clear. Lisa is hung up on you. But trying to wreck your marriage is a far cry from what if we're wrong? What if Lisa's trying to kill Robin? He's fallen out of love with himself since he got involved with you. You somehow convinced him that he wasn't worthy. That he needed to become someone smaller and sadder. Someone like you. It just kills you, doesn't it? That Patrick loves me. <laughs> and that all your stories about the good old days and NASCAR and sex against the wall it means nothing to Patrick. You've carried around these stories like there was some sort of holy grail, but Patrick, well, he's moved on with his life, so maybe you should try that. You know, I don't, uh, I don't think you ever grew up. I think you're always old. I think you're just always this old little lady judging everyone around you, scolding them if they don't live up to your standards of excellence and decorum. And I have to admit that when I first came to Port Charles, it mystified me. Why everyone defers to you. It's like, where does this authority come from? I mean, how did you get on a pedestal so high that you feel qualified to look down on everybody else? Maybe you feel looked down upon because you're a slut who's been trying to seduce a married man. It's an ordinary sin, Robin. It happens all the time. You know, people work together. They get a little too familiar. One thing happens and an affair ends up manifesting. Right? Yes. Yes, it's uncomfortable, but it is not the end of the world. Unless, of course, you know, the scorned wife is the sainted Robin Scorpio. And that's what raises a garden variety infidelity to the level of grand tragedy. Because you have HIV. Which, of course, is the answer to the mystery that I just mentioned. Why everyone defers to you. And now that I think of it, that's how you got Patrick in the first place. Why don't you try to rest? How is he? I can't really speak for him. Well, how does his life seem? What do you want to know? What happened between him and Carly? They got divorced, which is the best thing for both of them. And Carly moved on. What about Sonny? I saw Michael tonight at Jason's. It wasn't planned. It, it, Sam was there, but that's it. Did he talk to you about school? Did he have more problems at school? No, just that first day of the fight. Dante told me that he talked to the principal, straightened everything out. Mm -hmm. Dante. <laughs> Michael wouldn't be having problems at school if Dante hadn't sold him out in court and had him sent to prison. Are we really going back there? Dante didn't want Michael to go to prison any more than anybody okay, else. Okay, I about this because I know you have a blind spot when it comes to Dante. It's like the second you found out he was your son, he could do no wrong, and that's okay. Because that's who you are, all right? And that's, I love that about you. And I know you love all your kids the same. I don't have to tell you what my kids mean to me. That's why I turned myself in, because I didn't want them to think I was some kind of coward. Okay. So if you didn't have your kids to think about, would you ever come back? Or would you be with Brenda right now? You already tipped off the Balkan by refusing to meet in the usual place. I mean, he finds out you're not the real Ronan O'Reilly, you're dead. Now is the time for all of us to cut our losses and get out of here while we still can. Okay, well, you and Lulu should go, because I'm seeing this thing through. He's not going to quit, even though he probably should. Probably. What part of dead do you not understand? There are always ways to beat the odds. You just have to get creative. Look, look I know you've been running cons since you could talk, but...
you're not trying to hustle a two-bit card shark here. This guy is as lethal as they come. One meeting. That's all I need. Well, good luck with that, because the guy's a ghost. And he keeps it that way by killing anyone who crosses his path. Everyone except Ronan O'Reilly, which means I'm in the perfect position to take the Balkan down. Yeah, I thought the same thing when I was working undercover for Sonny. Right, you knew the risks going in, but you did it anyway. I mean, how is this any different? It's a big difference between risking your life and throwing it away.